Dangerous explosives were found in a van last night in Center City. Federal authorities say two suspects are in custody. Now investigators are trying to determine whether this case is linked to the theft of more than a dozen U-Haul trucks. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed is at police headquarters updating the investigation. Alicia. Yuki, not only have police been responding to the recent unrest, there's now concern because of the number of explosive devices they've found throughout the city, and they're trying to figure out how they're connected. Illegal ammo uncovered. Volatile M-type homemade explosives to be exact. All discovered inside this green van on the Ben Franklin Parkway late last night. These devices are not firecrackers. These are dangerous uh, explosive materials that can cause uh, serious physical injury uh, and or death. The Arson and Explosive Task Force, comprised of ATF, fire marshals, and Philadelphia police detectives, combed the scene. Officials tell us the illegal explosive devices are not regulated by ATF and are very dangerous. They create uh, significant havoc uh, to the community and they are danger to the community. Officials tell us similar explosives have been used as vandalism tools to explode ATM machines in the past. Investigators are also looking at 17 different stolen U-Haul van incidents and if they have a connection to the M-type devices that were found or may have been used to pack and run stolen goods during the recent looting. They continue to piece this together. The ATF revealed they do have two people in custody. Hopefully, we'll be able to provide some information later as to the specificity of those uh, devices that were recovered and additional contents that uh, were also found. ATF is actively following up on leads. They're also working with state and federal agencies to get to the bottom of this. Reporting live from police headquarters, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jess, back to you in the studio. Alicia, thank you.